Oh, hello everybody, Louis Farm Guy here with the new mod test for Friday, July the 15th, and we have, this is Barn with Cow Shed, by Gracious and Philip, 20.42 megabytes to download, and I am, uh, this is for all platforms, so I'm on PS5, and this is 38 slots for console. Now, somewhat of an interesting, somewhat familiar, um design um from some sheds not very well very recently um <clears throat> so for as for the garage portion we have a little side um, kind of a side area here with some farming cement <laughs> it has appeared again the farming cement the infamous farming cement. Now, we have uh, several doors here. This one's kind of open to the cow area. A little smelly, I would suppose, but of course, it would always be. Uh, these are probably one of the slowest opening doors I have ever used. So that's why most of them are open, because it would take forever to open them all. <clears throat> so we have the slurry um, slurry output here. Um, there's also an upstairs, which we'll show in a minute. Uh, we have a storage room. The doors, either I'm very tall or this is kind of a, some odd sizes for the doors, but you still, no problem getting in, just knock your head a little bit. Uh, this is, looks like where most of the slots are. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, all this decoration here, uh, you can pick up the wrench and throw it at someone, I guess. Bam. <laughs> um, anyways, this is your animal dialogue. 20 cows. Uh, the upkeep is uh, $20 a day, and uh, we, you probably want to see where you can find it. Uh, we're going to find it under animals and <clears throat> barn with cow shed here it is place it anywhere that's the only only version you get there isn't any other styles available uh yet yeah, as i said 20 cows a standard uh standard feed and it is automatic uh water water is automatically supplied so we have another <laughs> area here um, a little garage beside the cow shed. The cows are static. They don't move around. This is it. Um, this one's knee-deep uh, in uh, straw. Um, at the back here, we have our milk output. And so shall we go upstairs? And so there's a little ladder, but it's not difficult to get up here, but you ha you can have to, uh, you're, it's very easy to get up on the roof, <laughs> if you so choose. Uh, so here we go, and I have to really duck to get in here. I got some bales in here because, well, it's a hayloft, for one, which is very common for barns. And we have, there we go, open the hatch. Open the hatch. And, as we can see, it's a, oh, it's the feed area down here, which I just fell to. Probably broke some ankles. Um, and uh, this also has one, there we go, open the hatch. Uh, because we have an outside uh, a side door here where you could load uh, bales in. I would assume the small bales because um, there'd be no way to... to to move them around up here if you got the large ones. So straw bale, you just throw it down there and it takes bales. <laughs> now let's see capacities. Uh, so straw is 20,000 liters and the TMR is actually 35,000 liters or a combination of, let's see here, the we got a hay bale, hay bale goes in, grass, <clears throat> Is that because we've reached? There we go. Grass too. So there you go. You can th throw them down from the top. So if we, uh, 
I will show you the, uh, the the space inside is quite limited for trailers. I have a couple of trailers here, base game trailers. Uh, you want to pick one with a side dump, as I'll show you. I got this one uh, dumping on the right side because it seems the trigger seems to like the right side rather than the left side. As you can see right here, it's it's come up <clears throat> with this trailer. This is the I'll show you in a second. We'll show you. There we go. And it takes loose straw too, so that's why I put the straw in, but bales or loose straw. Uh, there we're almost at the 35,000 liters. Uh, this uh, trailer here is this one, the Welger DK115. In its standard configuration, uh, is able to tip in there. So it takes a few trips if you're going to use this one. Does hold uh, the the cow barn does hold 35,000 liters of <clears throat> um, all all three well a combination of those three foods um, oddly enough this barn does not give you the field information when looking at it either so that's a bit of a downer I say I like having to come up to it like and knowing exactly what's in there instead of having to go into your animal dialogue to see what you have in there. So we got milk and slurry. We're going to find out what the capacities are for those. And we're going to also find out, um, we're going to see now that it's they're pretty much full of product. Uh, see what um, what after one day, how, how far they go down. So we'll see you in a day. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so we've moved ahead today, and I just realized I forgot to put down a manure. So we're going to put down a manure uh, pit uh, to catch that, uh, just to make sure that works. And uh, if we look at our um, dialogue here, uh, they've only used maybe not even a quarter of the food and straw, um, what, an eighth maybe. So plenty of uh, plenty... There's plenty of um, capacity for leaving this run for a few days. Um, so no worries there. Now what I'm going to do is place down, uh, we're going to place down a, uh, a manure extension here. And of course it's, <laughs> of course I put it at an angle and you can't put these in at an angle, but that will be just fine right there. It will capture the manure. And we're going to see what the capacities for milk and uh, slurry are. And then we're going to show you um, unloading that with a tanker. So we'll see you then. Okay, so we're back and we have some results. <clears throat> so our milk capacity is 25,000 liters. And by the looks of the slurry, which is about halfway point, I'm going to say 100,000 liters of slurry it took several 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 days i didn't count how many days it's gonna be you're gonna you're gonna fall asleep of boredom before those fill up <clears throat> if you wait till they're actually all filled so as for the manure we have a uh, good production of manure and other than that it's pretty normal so we're gonna show you the uh, slurry trigger, which is right over here. It's a little bit of an awkward position, uh, but not terribly awkward. As you can see, the trigger comes up right now and it fills fairly quickly. No problems there. Actually, you don't have to wait around too long. That's only, it's a small tank. You could probably get a larger tank if you backed in a semi tank there. And as for the milk, we're just going to zip around here. The milk is actually quite easy because you can drive by the side here. And there it is. There's the filling. And as you can see, fairly quick too. So very nice. And away you go. So aside from the somewhat small doors with the trailer restriction, uh, it's only 20 cows. So... Um, having a small 
a small tractor with a small trailer to unload. Uh, it's nice that it takes all the bales, all the different bales, and it has some role play aspects with the uh, hayloft and throwing down bales into the feed area from there. It would be nice if the cows moved a bit, just saying, but that's kind of typical of some of these types of barns. And that's the Barn with Cow Shed by Gracious and Philip. 20.42 megabytes download, 38 slots on console, all platforms. I'm Louie Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.